Hi, I'm Jules, and I'm really excited about this week's um, episode of Stone Soup. So I've um, I finally discovered the secret to making perfect ice cream at home without an ice cream machine. So you know, since I've discovered minimalism, you know, it's been over 12 months, and I've kind of you know got this big ice cream machine that sits on top of my fridge in my kitchen in Sydney. It takes up a lot of space, um, but I haven't been able to part with it because you know, every now and again I'll just get inspired and I want to make ice cream, but um, Today I'm going to share with you the secret. So the, the, the biggest thing I've discovered is um, when you're making ice cream, if you load it up with sugar, then that means that the ice crystals just can't form no matter what the freezer conditions are. So um, yeah, it just it makes this wonderful, wonderful dessert. It makes um, you know the, the flavor can be quite sweet, so that's why we're making a lemon ice cream today to kind of balance out the sugar. But I tell you what, you'll be so amazed that the, that ice cream this good can come from your own kitchen. So. Um, I'll stop yapping on about it and we'll get in the kitchen and I'll show you how to do it. First I'm going to weigh out some icing sugar or powdered sugar. So we want 250 grams, so it's quite a bit of sugar, but that's the secret behind this ice cream. So it's, um, the, the sugar actually helps prevent the ice cream properly freezing and stops it going all icy and stuff. So it gives you the most wonderful texture. I kind of couldn't believe it the first time I made it. So that's 250 grams, and um, then a third of a cup of lemon juice. I'm just going to whisk that together. And all we want to do here is just to get rid of any lumps in the icing sugar because it can often be quite lumpy, and dissolve it in the sugar. But you know, don't stress about it too much. Cream here, so um, thickened cream for whipping or heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to whip this with my whisk. So if you've got an electric meat beer that does it by all means, but you know, I don't have one. Um, and I like to do the workout. And it's kind of amazing that you start out with this super runny cream and just with the action of the whisk can actually thicken it up. So this will take a while. I've got the um, cream whipped to kind of soft peaks. We don't need to take it any further than that. And I'm just going to whisk my lemon juice and icing sugar mixture into the cream and then I'm just going to whisk it again just for a little while to, to make sure it's set, just to thicken it up again so adding the lemon juice is going to thin it out a bit. And it's all about getting a lovely thick texture so then when it freezes you still, you still retain that. And the air helps lighten it and kind of um, yeah, it just makes it more like, you know, in commercial ice cream making, they actually whisk quite a lot of air into the um, ice cream because the air's free, but it also gives it that lovely moussey kind of frozen, frozen mousse, mousse texture. So I actually prefer, you know, ice creams that are, are a bit, bit lighter. So that's a personal preference thing. Some people like them really super creamy and damp. Okay, so that's probably probably good enough. It's it's thick. It's, if you don't want to over, over whisk it, if it starts to go grainy, then you've gone too far. So... I mean, it won't be the end of the world, but you're just losing some of that smoothness of texture. Oh, I've got my muscles. Yeah, so it's okay. It ribbons a bit. So I'm just going to pour it into my little ice cream tin, but you can you know, put it into a glass container anything that's going to be okay in the freezer. I'm just going to freeze that. It usually takes about at least six hours, but I'm going to actually freeze it overnight. 